So the first upgrade I'm going to buy after selling my, off my Zora tab is of course a thing that I am in real life. So we're gonna do a suffering. Ah, there we go, Ring of Suffering. I do have to imbue it. Um, well, I do think I do. I don't know. I don't think I have enough points in Nightmare Zone, so I have to grind out a little bit of Nightmare Zone. Um, points to actually be able to of course get the imbue and I will buy myself a shit ton of um, recoil rings to charge this but there is the first upgrade to my rebuild and let's do more Zora okay just did some nightmare zone finally able to imbue my ring of suffering which will double the effect of every stat um, there we go imbued and now charge it and go more Zora Okay, apparently I was talking for like two minutes straight without my recorder on and I, the moment I saw it I completely switched my focus on that and I died at Zoro, but um, what I was saying was um, I just hit 200 KC on Zoro. Um The next thing I want to uh, grind out is of course the Amulet of Anguish, which is another 12 mil, like the Ring of Suffering. Um, which is around 150 to maybe 170 um, kills of Zora, unless I get a unique drop. Um, but the thing is that um, I've already done 50 now, so that means that I have to go for 100 kills more unless I get a unique drop. It depends though, if I get a Tanzanite Fang or a Serpentine Visage, I will keep those and not sell them because they are basically my... Um, my blow pipe and my visage. I mean, I will keep those, but any any uh, unique drop after that um, will be used towards the rebuild. Oh my god, my first unique is an onyx. Come on, man. Well, at least it's good. It's 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 the highest valuable uh, unique you can get. So I think that's really close to my to my anguish. Thanks. Fuck now. Nice. So I've made in total 4.5 million on Mole in only 183 kills. Mole is definitely a very good money maker, or at least a starting money maker. So adding that up, oh, almost. <laughs> it's time to buy myself my anguish back. Yes! Alright, what's the next item? I think the next item is going to be Ranger Boots or Pegation Boots. Um, or Guttons. Yeah, no, no, no. My next item, which will be a small grind, is going to be Guttons, um, which will help me um, with Ceridomen, which will be coming up. So I decided to test out uh, to push the bow at the mole, and for the people who don't know, I actually got the mole pet at 813. And look at the amount I have. That is, since I got a pet, until now, I've done one trip um, and I've made 187 claws, that's 187 kills. And I just want to test out, and apparently, the Twisted Bob is very, very effective on, the, on this boss as well. I've been hitting non stop like 40s, 50s, even 60s on this, so um, I just want to test it out and see what my loot can be. I've been working on this for two hours, I think, something. Um, so I'll get back to you guys uh, when I get uh, the loot. Oh my god. I got a curved bone. I think I think curved bone is a 1 in 5,000 drop, so that's like... That's fucked up, dude. Man, rip. So I finished up 250 kills of the giant mole. Um, let's just quickly check what my loot is. Um, I don't know why I removed my anguish. Um, I'm just gonna, I think I need to put in my bank, yeah, never mind. Um, I'll put in what I have, or what I have gotten from Mole. That is worth something, of course he took Shark, because he dropped Shark. I want to keep the runes for myself, because it's something. Um, 1,900 U-Logs, 900 Iron Ore, 132, 32 k um, then a moleskin. Ooh, clean. Ooh, damn. I got six million loot. Oh yeah, also, um, 
I got uh, open. Let's take out the blood runes because that's also a thing. Well, let's just practice it like this. And that's a, what 200k, so I'm at what 6.5 ish mil from mole and 250 kills. That's a lot, really good profit. So, actually, I'm gonna buy myself what I was planning um, fill a gutten set for 4 ish mil. Buy also, I want to buy myself Varex because why would I not buy myself Varex? Um, help me in wealthy bosses. I'm actually thinking of going, um, do I have to do it like this? No, it sets. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing... <coughs> oh, impact. Okay. Of doing Venonatus with the Twisted Bow, because Venonatus also has a very big, um, or very high magic level. Um, so that way I will probably hit a lot on him. Um, I'm just, just a, a thought. I will probably try it out somewhat soon, but I first want to know what you guys think uh, about it. So me and a felony in my clan chat were talking about, um my latest video and review building and he said it would be a good idea to plant uh, cactus seeds and I was like yeah that's actually a good idea because it's a free 16k every three hours if I remember doing it so um, I'm just gonna do that and see how much money I can make from it uh, when I actually remember it I do know it is in yeah it's right here um, if I actually remember it I will of course just continue on getting these uh, cactus thingies, whatever they're called, so I got myself an ultra compost and a cactus seed, and I will see how much money I can actually passively make from this, so that's pretty awesome. Good idea, Tommy, good idea. Okay, this guy, Tevis, I'm guessing his name is, he said he got a lot of fishy stuff from me. What the fuck, 21k? Damn, dude, a thing that puts me almost near 100k, let's quickly check this out. Um, and that is 90k, 90k, 10, 10k more and I'm at 100k. Thank you very much, man, thank you. So let's quickly check what the price of this is. I'm doing my clue scrolls, by the way. So let's pick these uh, cactus spines and I will just let the cactus stand here. So that's three of them. That means that I got a 15k I mean it's something it's, it's literally free so why shouldn't I just let this stand here so yeah that's the every three hours getting 15k might add up at some point okay so on my last video I got a comment saying that if I do some clue scrolls I have to price check as well that's a fair answer or a fair comment so I'm just gonna bank everything and get the caskets out and Started with the easy one. Pretty shit. Medium. Oh man, it's not that good. Yeah, okay, uh, heart. Oh shit, I got a rune film in rooms. And elite. These are just average clues. I got. Ooh shit, I might as well go sell this already. And then um, be a step closer to my pigation boots. While I was doing some. Uh AFK homework for school. I got myself an elite clue scroll out of a geode, and this is a reward. Oh fuck! Yay! What a good reward. So from doing more mining, I got an instant elite clue, almost back to back, quote unquote. And this is better than the last one, it's around 200k, so let's quickly check, press check this, and see you at 200k, that's, that's <laughs> way better loot than the last one. So I have done another 250 kills of the giant mole here, um, in one trip of course. Um, quickly gonna price check and sell off my loot, I've been doing this for the, oh shit, not this. Um, let's quickly take out my ranging potions. Uh, you can have this. It's just somebody just joined. Um, what do I? What else do I have to take out? These potions, and it's about loot. Six mil once again. Um, there is still like uh, open. There's still uh, one thousand four hundred blood runes in here, which is added three hundred k. So that's around uh, six point. 4k ish, uh, 6.4 mil ish um, 
loot i will sell that off right now i've been doing this for the entire day and of course i will be doing zora tomorrow all right from our 250th zora kill counts okay uh not much my 250 kill counts let's keep going so i have gotten an elite clue scroll from zora and this is going to be the loot let's quickly bank everything okay never mind um uh, okay, I finally got a master scroll book. I've never gotten one of these. And then the Zemrek page and the Gothic page are oh, words. That's pretty decent clue, actually. Uh, let's quickly price like that. Uh, there you go, it's uh, 323k. Oh shit, finally, I got my magic fang. Oh, wait, it's a fang. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna buy myself a trident at some point and I will wear or add this onto that. But I mean, it's a 2.5 mil drop, so... I mean, it's, it's good, it's good. Alright, from saving or selling everything again, I bought myself the next upgrade, which is a pair of pigation boots, of course. And this will probably, hopefully, speed up my kills even more on everything that I use range on. And let's start rebuilding now for the next tier, which is just for mil, because I'm gonna go for Armadale Helm, then Armadale Body, Armadale Chaps, and done. <sighs> yes! I just got my own um, Serpentine Helm. Let's quickly go make this. Do I have a chisel? I don't. See you guys uh, when I have a chisel. I'm fucking stupid, I'm in a crafting guild, there's a chisel here in the fucking... There we go. Now I have my own Sermentine Helm. Now, my next plan actually was to... Uh, to get myself an Armadale Helm, but I think it's much more wise to probably... not do that. I mean, if, if we take this and then um, there is like a tech bonus range... You get like a little bit more, but you don't spend more scales on this. I mean, this is amazing now. So I might as well use this. I'll check the difference if it's really if it really matters. I'll go back to an orbital or the orbital coif or an orbital helm when I have the money. All right, all right, it's dragon implant. Let's quickly catch this one. Ah, pff, not much. Expected another magic seat. So I just finished her almost. 50 kills of the mole, and um, I've decided to use a cannon while killing the mole. I mean, a little extra DPS will always help. And I found out that a uh, cannon actually is worse in a way because the cannon. Uh, I feel like the mole moves a lot when you hit it very often. So if you hit high, you can probably keep the mole at, at the same spot you want. Um, but the cannon actually is quite inaccurate, so it hits a lot of zeros, so it actually does a lot of hits, so it moves way more, so it's actually worse than normal killing. So yeah, don't use the cannon at mole, only if you are willing to run around a lot. So while I was doing <coughs> uh, mole, I actually got an elite clue scroll, and this is loot. I also got an easy and a medium spare from uh, mining, so I'm gonna just gonna bank everything here quickly um, there we go get this out there uh, easy <laughs> medium ah oh, come on man I hate it when wow elite oh my god this is terrible dude like oh my luck recently on clue scrolls have been terrible right so we're Give me another master casket, uh, master elite. Better than last time? Oh, it's a master clue scroll, nice! Um, but it's better than my last one, so let's go do this uh, master clue scroll. Okay, loot from master clue caskets, master clue scroll. Let's quickly bank everything at the ground exchange. And um, this one I had to, I had like the worst hot and clue, hot and cold clue, literally. Oh, there we go. 800k, that's actually quite good. That's because of the Onyx Bolts and the Zamrak page. 200 Nature Runes is pretty good, dude. Means it's actually quite a good Master Clue, yeah. Quickly putting this in there, I got a... Got an Elite Clue from Zoro. And I died afterwards. <laughs> um, 
and a reward is probably shit because my luck has been terrible all week. Oh, okay. Okay, I got another casket ready to open from uh, Zora. It's right here. <sighs> it's better than the last one we've gotten. That one's pretty, pretty shite as well. I just got a ring met home from Zora. I don't know how rare it is, but it feels like it's rarer than a unique. God damn it. Alright, there's gonna be... Uh-oh. Kill count 500. On Zora? I mean, I will just continue on. Because I need to get that armor little piece. It's over. It's done. My RuneScape account got hacked. Partially my fault, I think. Um, the email address was changed, so I recovered it. I have not logged into my account yet. Probably all of my stuff will be gone. Well, not probably. All of my stuff will be gone. This is gonna be the end of this fucking channel. I feel like I'm gonna stand at the Grand Exchange I locked out at the mall. Giant mall. If I can. Do I dare to click? Yep. Who you. Deleted into the. Yeah, okay. Okay, everything is still in my bank, but everything I was wearing that was kind of expensive, primordial boots, anguish, and a twisted bow. I... okay, this is... this is completely my fault. I don't know what to do. I used to bank my items. I've lost everything, dude. I've lost everything. It's... <sighs> I lost my twisted bow. Basically my entire bank. Um... I can probably send an email to Jagex saying in the last... I, I, I logged out yesterday because I went to a concert at like 6... no, 5.30 p.m. I can ask Jagex, right now it's 12 a.m. next day. Um, I can ask Jagex to check who traded my accounts um, in the last like 24 hours. Because I, I didn't trade anyone, so the hacker probably did. So what's my plan for now? My plans for now probably are quitting RuneScape. I really don't feel like restarting everything again, even with the maxed accounts. I hope you guys understand that. I'm very happy that I achieved what I wanted, maxing. Um, What I'll be doing right now, I will probably not upload anything on this channel anymore, RuneScape related. I mean, I could start an Iron Man, but who cares about that? My, the, the, the need, the will to play this game is completely gone. Um, I... I don't know, I still have my band, Hymns of Gilnor, who, anybody who's interested, we will still make music, it's a RuneScape related metalcore band, there's, there's one song on my channel that's our single. I will still make music for that, so that's the only thing you'll probably hear from me anymore, which is Hymns of Gilnor, I will play guitar, will play music, and for the rest, people, I don't know how, how they got into my account, everything was secured everything was was okay 
I had an authenticator. I probably fucked up by doing or showing some stuff that I probably shouldn't. I'm really sorry. But I'm done. <laughs>